we start off by copying the composer.json details from php spec and then running the command composer install to install all the dependencies for php spec let's run this command to create your first spec making sure that the namespace goes at the end and this is your first spec file as you can see the user class is undefined so to create that automatically we could run php spec run command that would automatically create the class for you and that would make sure that your first test passes which is to make sure that the user class is initializable first spec would assert that this method would return a string Now I execute the php spec run command to create the method for you. And now we could do the implementation in here. So a simple one would just be return a string. And watch this test pass. In the next test we test that the return should be a string containing hello world. Let's put in that incorrect value to check. As you can tell, PHP spec would tell you. Next we test another method called return cars and that should return an array. And the same again, I'll let PHP spec do the work and create the function for you. On the official PHP website you can find a list of matches and assertions that can be used. Next we test the function that should throw an exception. And this assertion would be slightly different. So it starts off with should throw and then the exception class will use the standard exception class. and then the, we'll do drawing the method name so not read it should be return exception and that takes no arguments so you just put a square brackets In this test we'll test the number of elements in an array. As the return cards method returns an empty array, we would expect that this test would fail and return zero. If you want more details on why the test failed, you could add verbals at the end. To make this test pass, let's add two elements. In 
in PHP spec we can also do multiple assertions in under one spec. So here I'm going to test the count is equal to 2 and that it should contain Honda in the array. In this test, I'll test that the return name function removes the space between hello and log. Okay, I'm adding a file dump to see the output from the term. Here I'm doing a simple test to check that if the criteria is equal to 1 then it should return something else, it should return something else. The criteria will be in the argument of return cars, so that means that has to be done in the specs as well. I'm gonna create a public function that calls a private function. As you can't test the private function directly, but if you do call the private function through a public function, you can. You would have to test everything inside the private function as well. So the purpose of unit testing is to ensure that the quality of code is maintained. It also allows you to find bugs early on and fast during debugging time. It also has a documentation aspect as if someone new comes in the team, they could easily uh, look through the tests and work out what is going on.